Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Misko. Welcome to Monk Monday, number 85. Thank you so much, everybody, who submits their gameplay. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, pretty much you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it. I go over it. I do the best I can to help you improve. I try to... and. This is a thank you to everybody because you have helped me improve over the years. So thank you so much. Again, any PvP or PvE, I do I've done Mythic Plus, I've done um RBGs, I've done Windwalker. So any monk besides Brewmaster, um, please send in any gameplay you have and I will be more than happy to review it. So today we have May J, who I believe I think I did a Monk Monday in WAD, and I follow him on stream, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I follow him and I actually watch your streams. I, I lurk though. I'm a hard lurker. I, I watch the Pharaoh Druid gameplay. Trust me, I watch it. Um, and he says, You're going to me so much last time. I'm back for more. I, yeah, back in WAD. I think I remember watching you in WAD. Uh, took a break from Miss Weaver and just started again. So much fun. Don't ever leave. Don't ever leave. Uh, keep up the good work. You're awesome. Thank you so much, Mage. I really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're in a rough spot, but I think we have two games today. So, all right, let's see. We got Feral Druid Disc. And we have, oh, Rest of Druid, Windwalker. These are two really good games, mostly because, like, both these matchups are really, really hard. So, uh, I see that we're Necrolord, so let's um, let's just start with that. And we're good here. 10 EP, perfect. Um, so, yeah, I see Windwalker. Let me see what we're doing here. So, we're playing Ring of Peace, which is fine. I would say the biggest thing versus Windwalkers... I, so I don't know if this is bad, but I've been playing Diffuse Magic against everything just because that new trinket is everyone's using it. So I placed Diffuse Magic just because of the trinket. It's a gamble. Some teams don't do it. So that's just me. But I would say as far as talents go, Tiger's Lust is really good because it helps you get away from Windwalkers because you can't get you have no other way to get a roots. And then for PvP talents, Chrysalis, Eminence, and the third one, probably not Counter Magic. I'd probably go maybe Zen Focus T. I would say I think Zen Focus T is also pretty good, and those are kind of my go-to. And then obviously every game you're playing Cloud of Focus every single game, so just keep that in mind. I see that you're you're Panda, so that's just great. Panda's okay. Honestly, if you're playing Panda, you could play Song of Chi Chi. It helps you set up more CC a little bit more often. So both of those work, but we'll see. Um, oh, dematerialized. I was kind of blanking on like the P um, PvP talents for some reason. But yeah, dematerialize or Zen Focus T are both fine. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what these health bars are showing. I have no idea. That is, I don't know what's going on. I see 50 50. But if it worked, oh, shit, that was kind of cool. Um, so the Windwalker is going you. We got our statue down. We have a port up. So I would, the biggest thing right now, and it's hard. Oh, we're playing with a rogue. Okay. Yeah, we're playing with an ass rogue. So the biggest thing against Windwalkers before is that you used to not like you used to have a shorter cooldown on port, but now you don't with the new eminence. So it's kind of awkward. We trinket that into a leg sweep rop. Panda, I was gonna say panda. Panda's DR though. You might want to save panda for the. You might want to save panda for when it's off DR. And I'm gonna be honest. If you're playing with a rogue, one sec, music's a little loud for me. If you're playing with a rogue, try playing Song of Chi Chi and see if that works it drs with blind so just keep that in mind is it blind it might be it's bl i think it's blind or sap i forget which but uh song of, song of chiji dr is with some that rogues have but if you're if your strategy is to kill the dps every kidney shot you're gonna have a song of chiji so every kidney shot in cap song the healer and you'll probably get cooldowns a lot faster um Great port there. This is Xuan, so just be careful. Um, also, that was an awkward ring of peace. Uh, usually, ring of peace, you should probably save for when like they're trying to kill you because it. Windwalkers do have some pretty dirty damage, but it looks like he's playing Kyrian, so you don't have to worry about Bone Dust Brew, which is nice. Um, just don't stack up. This is this is the worst thing you can do right now, is stack up. So versus Windwalkers versus uh, literally any any melee. Any, any comp, anything. Don't stack up. You want to play far away. That's Karma, which is really good uh, because the Windwalker doesn't have Trinket for, I believe we still, we still have Vendetta and Smoke Bomb. So this should be a kill. As long as you don't, as long as you don't rush it, this should be a kill. So there's Kidney Shot. We haven't used Vendetta yet. Okay. Was that Iron Bark? That looked like Iron Bark. Yeah, that was Iron Bark used on the, on the Windwalker. So let me tell you something. This Windwalker is dead. This one walker is so freaking dead. 
Um, I would say you just have to set up the kidney shot into smoke bomb and CC on the healer and, and you can get a kill. So I would save this in cap leg sweep for, oh, and we get trinket there and we still have blind. So yeah, this, this should be, this should be a win. Um, this should for sure be a win unless you get cheese somehow by the Windwalker damage. That's Bone Dust Brew. That's the Maldic Trinket going out. Good dispel there. In capped on it. There's our Life Cocoon, which is great. Um, and they're falling so far behind that the Windwalker actually has to start healing. Oh, Peace Weaver is the talent I was thinking of. Not Zen Focus D. Peace Weaver. Um, I go one or the other. Versus this, I'd probably go Chrysalis Eminence. <sighs> Peace Weaver, maybe if I feel like they're running the trinket. I don't. It really, it's a gamble. It's a gamble. If you think that they're running the trinket, run Diffuse Magic, Peace Weaver. If you don't run Healing Elixirs and actually Dampen Harm and Sun Focus to your Dematerialize are both really good. Uh, so there's a blind. There's a kidney shot. This this sh should be a kill. Any follow up CC on the Druid. In cap, perfect. Rob this guy back. Beautiful. Give me a touch of death. Oh my lord. Lord help me. Um Druid healing is actually insane. So yeah, um good in cap here. Do we have leg sweep? I don't actually know if we have leg sweep or not. No, we don't. 30 seconds. So I would have made this. I don't know actually. I would have used this ring of peace to knock him like here and knock him back. That way he can't get back to his druid. Actually, you know what I would have done? I would have robbed the druid instead of the monk. That's that's what I would have done. Yeah, right here. When the monk comes out. Let the monk run let let the monk run and then wait for where he goes and if he starts going this way then you use ring of peace to knock the druid back make the monk because then the monk doesn't have any mobility to get away also touch death just doesn't want to work so i think it was 20 percent. oh nice nice shackle really good that's perfect right after the ns um this is good healing this is good um i don't think we have any follow-up cc so that's okay but so far so good that's our flesh craft um looks like we're not playing the ultimate form which is fine. They don't have much cow control. So mana wise, it seems like we're doing all right. So we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Nice in cap on the leap there into a leg sweep. Beautiful, beautiful. Make sure you get missing touch going. Leg sweep. We trinket it. Schwen. It's fair. You know. Oh, we port kind of far. Careful of your rogue. Rogues. Rogues can die. I think we just used vanish there. Yeah, that was definitely vanish. So now we don't have sap for blind, but. Or it delays our go a minute. So either one is fine, but just keep that in mind. We're probably not gonna have a blind for our sap. Still, none of them have trinkets. That's thorns on the Windwalker. Might want to swap to the druid here just because versus resto druids, especially in twos, you want to kind of swap on hots to make them run out of mana and make them fall behind. So if you see thorns on the Windwalker or whoever it's on, just swap to the next target. I would say I think it's probably a good option. You also don't die to thorns that's faint for me rogue which is really good because this is weapons of order from the windwalker so really good faint and the druid's pushing in nice in cap insane in caps man i you should have played i feel like song of chiji was probably better i think song of chiji if i think this is a matchup with, especially with a rogue that you're going to want to play song of chiji because every kidney shot you have a song like you have some cc so i i think try song of chiji and it could work because like look this guy's at 40 percent and the druid's just like falling behind that's iron bark now too so that's a cyclone on you yeah that was a step from your rogue to the resto druid it would be nice to see a swap life cocoon good that's that's fine i think we're playing chrysalis right yeah i think we're playing chrysalis i'd like the i'd like your life cocoon weak order to show how much is left yeah, we're playing Chrysalis, so <clears throat> we'll have it back for Juan, I believe. Careful, reset your port. Reset your port. I would definitely reset your port anywhere you move on the map. Anytime you move, anywhere. And like it could be from just one pillar to another. Anywhere, just reset your port because you always want to be in range of your port. Avoid crowd control, avoid damage. I don't know where your port is right now, though. Is it on the pillar? Nice leg sweep. I see, I don't know if that's a good leg sweep or not because rogues. Like they, they, I, assassination rogues especially get more damage from kidney shotting. I think it's fine, but and it, it is what it is, right? I was just on the druid, I'm pretty sure, so it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, there, there's karma. Oh my god, karma, no trinket. Um, we have smoke bomb and 30. So hopefully, if we can get druid trinket, 
I mean, it's fortifying Brew Juen. Okay, so we just have to live this. Uh, that's Karma Juen. This is all of their damage rooted on you. This is a good time to use Tiger's Lust if you were playing it. Um, he roots you and then runs away. Good Fleshcraft there, too. And the Monk, ooh, bad ring of peace from the wind, wind from the other one, Walker. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Can't get away. Good. Nice rolling away. Great kiting. See, again, reset your port here. You know, if your port was in the room, move your port out here. You're moving around. Um, going for a good drink. I, we're at 82% mana, though. I don't think we need the drink. Um, good damage here. Careful. Yeah. You only want to push in. It's similar to, like, Disc Priest. You do not want to push in on a Windwalker unless they don't have Leg Sweep. If the, if the Windwalker has Leg Sweep, don't stack on him. Don't, don't get anywhere close to him. I mean, it's good to do damage, but try to Crackling Jade Lightning if you need to apply the Mystic Touch. Do not push in and roll on the other Windwalker because double leg sweeps, especially with how spinning crane kick is and just how much damage they can do, it's just brutal. So, um, I don't know if we're in slow-mo right now. Oh my god, that was that was some heavy lag. What the hell? Um, but yeah, what we're looking for right now is... Oh, that was a smoke bomb. Trinket from the Windwalker. So we got Trinket from the Windwalker there. Nice leg sweep. Uh, the Windwalker is in. And we have blind. And the, wait, the Druid just trinketed. What? The Drew just trinketed it. So next kidney shot, I would say could be a win as long as they don't die right now. Give me a life cocoon. Perfect life cocoon. So we we have blind again, and we have kidney problem. We have kidney right now. So let's just, just blind kidney right now. I think we win. Right? Incapped blind kidney. Do a little bit of damage. Incap off. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, that's 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 how you play this matchup. I think you should play song, try Song of Chi. Don't don't just like try and see if Song of Chi Chi works for you. I think it will. I know it can be scary when you're being trained, but um, you have port, you have mobility to hopefully get away from Windwalkers. Peels from a Rogue are really good too. So <clears throat> anything like that should be good. Try don't stack against Windwalkers and then move your port depending on where you are on the map, especially if you move. Like if you move, uh, you definitely want to reset your port definitely oh god a feral druids okay well either this guy's gonna have convoke and one shot you or he's not gonna die because he's necrolord but feral druids are probably one of the tougher matchups for miss weavers definitely play eminence because one if he's convoke you can just port los and it can't hit you or two if he's necrolord it just helps you live the maim and the mighty bash stun so both are really good um song of chiji could be used it, I think Song of Chiji is really good in this matchup because if the Feral goes you and your rogue is hitting the Disc Priest, you can just incap Song the, the Feral LOS of the healer and you don't have to worry about him. Um, and then if, you know, vice versa, if your rogue is hitting the Feral, every kidney shot you can incap Song. So I think Song of Chiji is really good in this matchup. Chrysalis is good. Eminence is good. The third one, I would probably do Peace Weaver uh, because of mind games and because of shackles. So. That's what I would play. You could also do Zen Focus T if you wanted to. Oh, hello. You could also do Zen Focus T if you want to. But um, I know I know. if you stopped playing Mistweaver and you came back in 9.1 from Mistweaver, you're like, what the hell is going on with all these talents? Trust me. I'm thinking the same exact thing. I really am. I don't know what's going on. I, I really don't. But that's okay. That's all right. Lord help me. All right. Let's see what we got. Work down. Statue up. Statue up. No, really, statue up. Um, so kill target is probably honestly the the rest of the the disc priest will oom um to acerog damage. So keep that in mind. Also, mystic touch is really important for assassination rogues. Their melee hits are usually their top damage. They they just hit things and their poisons do damage, but. Um, it's probably, it, it, it is important. So they look, it looks like they want to go you. It seems like. Bone to Sprue, potentially. Oh, Feral Druid opened up. So. It looks like they're going your rogue. I thought they were going to go you because the Disc Priest was hitting you, but I thought your rogue was already opened. So, that was Mind Games already, which is great. This is Stampeding Roar in Berserk from the Feral Druid. You could port to get closer to, nice panda, into a song. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god, it's freaking beautiful. Wait, Trank gets it too. Oh my lord. Wait, do we get the do we not get the song? MC again. Your rogue's on his own. You have port though. Remember that. You have port. We didn't get the song either. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh my god. Beautiful. We gotta heal though. Definitely gotta heal. Careful. Oh my god, they both got songed. Oh my lord. Good song. 
Good song. Um, so far, so good. Make sure you keep nearing mist on everybody. I see. I don't know how to check. Oh, it's the little green circle. Okay. Okay, that's the little green dot. So yeah, make sure you keep nearing mist up on everybody. That's but like that's what you're looking for. But here's what you do. You want to do that every kidney shot. Don't just do it on your own. Do it every single kidney shot, and whenever you have song, every time, every single time, and you'll get so many cooldowns. Like both these guys already don't have trinkets, and we still have smoke bomb. So give me a don't don't stack on the priest for too long because they do have fear, and they can punish you. So just keep that in mind. They can fear you into stuns into mind control. So don't stack on priests, especially if they have fear. Thorns on the druid. So you know. Maybe we'll swap to the disc priest. Uh, there's an in cap into a song. We might be too far away. He could death it. And avoid it. Yeah. You want to stand a little bit closer. And then also versus priest, they have shadow or death. And what it does is it deals damage to the target. And if it doesn't kill that target, it deals damage to themselves. So um, you want to make sure that you are really close. And then make sure that just there's no gap. Also, on top of that, Song of Chiji dispels poisons and bleeds and dots. So this Song of Chiji is actually really rough for your assassination rope damage right now. Because I don't know what damage he had on the Feral Druid. I don't know if maybe we were targeting him. Are we targeting the Feral Druid at all here? I don't think so. But your yeah, your your rogue just lost a lot of damage there because it dispels everything. Like every, everything that's on the on the druid. So Try to point it away from DPS, especially if it doesn't matter if you're playing like a warrior or like, I don't know, it's non dot classes or bleed classes. But if you're playing with a bleed or dot class and you are playing song, just make sure you point it away from the DPS, just away because you're gonna, your DPS is going to lose a lot of damage. I guess it's kind of good because it's it works like kind of stunned, but I don't know. There's a blind full kidney shot here. Um, and then this is where you'd want to follow up with like a leg sweep, a song of Chiji, anything like that, just because you have, you know, there's you no know, kidney shot. <clears throat> Bonus brew, good. And not bad so far. Not bad so far. Mana wise, we're doing fine. I don't think we need to go for a drink. I think you definitely, I feel like you win on mana. I really do. Mind games, careful. Make sure you keep renewing mist out. We have two charges of renewing mist. There is Maledict as well. There's Revival. Good. Yeah. Good job renewing Mist. Good. Perfect. Vivify. We're using Searching Mist. There's two stacks. Give me an Enveloping Mist here. That's, see, like, right here. One. So you have one stack of Searching Mist, two stacks. And then this third stack. Oh, you didn't get a third. To get the third stack, you want to throw an Enveloping I would throw an Enveloping Mist out just because... Um, it's so much healing and if your rogue is LOS of the priest, they, they can't purge it. So it's just really nice for mana um, And it kind of helps your team just stay alive. There's a trinket. Oh No, the song of cheater versus mind control the priest actually trinketed there don't don't just throw a song just, Sometimes I will but don't just throw a song of cheesy, especially with a rogue where it's like all set up. Just try your best to We sap the we sap this priest, which is great got the fair out good um Cheap shots on the priest. Bonus brew. So far, so good. I feel like we're not swapping enough. I think your rogue... Your rogue needs to swap targets a little bit more. Like, see here's those thorns on the pharaoh druid. Go to the... The disc priest has no trinket. No trinket off Stundiar soon. In four seconds. Just start hitting the disc priest because it it makes it too it makes it too easy for the healer to just be like all right I'll just single target healing with penance and shadow mend they probably hardly have to shadow mend that's why the mana is doing so well because just single target healing and uh, atonement healing so I would just tell your rogue friend to swap targets you know you see thorns swap targets you see defensive swap targets I mean that's that's what I would do um, and then when I queue into acid rogues that are really good that's they just they just can you shot one, do damage, damage, and then put bleeds on everybody, and that's what they see, like, right now. Looks like we're trying to hit the Disc Priest, which is good. We get our bleeds on one, and then swap to the other, and start just, like, whittling away. There's Barkskin from the Feral Druid. Good. I actually think that in-capping is bad when you're... So, like, if your rogue is, you know, swapping around and, and putting dots on everybody, there's a Groat on the Disc Priest, too. You don't want to in-cap. Similar to Song of Chiji, it's because... 
um, it dispels all their dots, all their bleeds, so they lose out on so much damage, and it, it really sucks for them. So just keep that in mind. If your rogue does plan on swapping around and you know getting some spread damage, one single target damage, then make sure that you. Oh my god, we actually got that song. Oh my lord. Make sure that you're not using songs or end caps on the DPS that they're or the targets that they're putting their bleeds on. They just lose out on so much uptime. Uh, there's a song. I think that it does DR with blind. So or there was a blind. I think it DRs with song. And I think yeah, this Pharaoh Druid's necro. I've never seen them die not once. So I would definitely try to hit the priest a little bit more. Guys, I swear this Pharaoh Druid is just gonna open up and just like one shot somebody. I can feel it. There it is. Nice, nice, good dispel. Nice kidney shot. No outs for the Druid. Make sure you heal yourself. Oh no. You gotta heal yourself. Careful. Alright, this is good. This is good. Yep. Careful of the mind games here. Nice in cap. The trinkets. Full leg sweep. Give me a song. Yes. Beautiful song. That's great. All right, Druid, Druid Priest has no trinket, so if the, the Priest doesn't have Pain Suppression either, they could definitely die in a stun, so keep that in mind. Like, if, if you're tracking Priest cooldowns and, oh, they do have, they still have Pain Suppression, okay. There's a Kidney Shot. Uh, so, like, right now, I, we had good CC before, but now is the time to go for CC, because when you're just CCing on your own, like, Rogues don't really do much damage outside of Kidney Shot. They, they do, like, pad damage, but they don't do much damage without their Kidney Shot, and they have their uptime, so right now, before was fine, just because you had some pressure. But right now, when you're when you're when you're rogue kidney shot some the druid out of bear form, you want to go for you want to cc the disc priest now, uh, just because I, they have no outs, no trinkets, nothing. Give me a touch of death. Come on, touch of death work, baby. Oh, we're trying so hard. We're trying so hard. Touch of death. Beautiful. Great job. That was a good game. Um, I would just make sure you don't stack against this priest and then the most important thing is set up your cc with your dps especially with a rogue that has kidney shot every what 25 seconds 20, 21 25 seconds or something like that you have cc almost every time so just keep that in mind but overall no solid games make sure you keep renewing mist on everybody the renewing mist dropped a little bit so you know make sure at all times you just keep renewing mist like right now this one falls and then it swaps to you because you took damage and he works at 100 health just make sure you keep doing this stuff on everybody as much as you can and then for ui i think your ui looks great just make sure try to make keybinds for like major heals and targeting those are the biggest things but besides that, that that's pretty much it um yeah no i hope this was helpful hope anyone who watched what this was helpful to somebody and uh that's pretty much all i got um hope you have a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later